okay so in this video we are going to bypass the file hash uh, rule with with slightly modifying the binary so okay i have this powershell.exe this is a normal powershell i have copied from this uh, location to the desktop so this is normal powershell so the administrator can uh, block the access based on this file hash so get file hash powershell.exe if you perform this one and you can see you get the hash so let it be here now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to add one section to this uh, executable so in our executable is uh, of the file type PE file format PE stands for portable executable so in that you will have different uh, sections for the uh, code for the resources for the initialized data etc so uh, we need to uh, edit these sections or we can also create a new section for us so I will be using the tool called Lord PE so you can download this from online so click on this PE editor and now choose this powershell.exe and now you can see all the PE header information the application has extracted from powershell.exe now let's click on the sections and here you can see the text section you will have the code hard data data p data resource etc okay now right click on this and choose this one add section header so you can see the new section header has been added and right click on this mm, let's say uh, edit section header now you can give this a name temporary uh, like that so now you need to give a uh, virtual size and raw size so raw size is on the disk virtual size in the memory so you can just simply say one one or you can also say 100 or 1000 so what we are going to do is we are going to add a section of the size one byte and that byte should be filled by uh, any null byte or something now click on ok and close this one and click on save now if i go and run this one you will get some error so to solve this you need to have some hex editor and I will be using uh, xvi32 or you can say uh, 1632 so open this one our powershell.exe and go to the end, end of this file and now edit click on edit insert string so you need to insert the hex string that is null byte and how many you want to insert only one because our uh, section size is only one click on ok and now you can see the null byte has been added now save this one and now if you open this you will get this powershell.exe now you can see uh, it's functioning uh, normally now let's okay there is my uh, this is the previous powershell.exe before adding the uh, section now get file hash and now you can see the hash has been changed but the functionality remains remains same so now we can see uh, we have successfully bypassed this file hash rule so this is uh, i got this idea uh, but i also searched for this in the google and there is a, there is one more simpler technique without adding the uh, actual section header so let's uh, delete this one
so you can also modify this one modify the uh, powershell.exe so simply open this in the hex editor open the powershell.exe in the hex editor and you can see there is a uh, ascii string this program cannot be run in dos mode so this is the dos tub header mm, i it's been while i i studied this p uh, file format so this is uh, this will be displayed if you run the normal uh, latest executable in the dos os uh, so this what you can do is you can just simply uh, change this one of the ascii character to let's say 3f okay so that should do it now save this one now if i go and run this get file hash and you can see the different hash now if you run the powershell we should get the actual functionality of powershell and you can see the powershell is working fine so you can see simply editing uh, some random junk bytes in the exe can lead to entire uh, hash changing so that's how you bypass this uh, file hash verification by the app logger